Hi guys, welcome to the House of Ginger. Today is Wild Wednesday. Ready? Here we go. Woo! It's wild at the House of Ginger. All right. So what that meant is instead of doing workouts because of a slight, well, it was a sl it was it was a car accident, um, but everybody's walking. Just a little bit of injuries in the wrist formation. Um, long story short, so what we've decided to do is art. You know, when in doubt, art. That's what I say. So, this was my masterpiece. It's a big canvas. It's kind of a two feet by three feet, man, maybe three feet. Anyway, you know, it's big. Um... Because this is my sitting torso and this is my head. So it's pretty good size. Uh, so I just saw that at a the one you saw on the web. If you see the web. Thehouseofginger.com. It's a prettier picture. Nicer picture. Um, of this interesting weeping willow over some water. It was at a pretty hotel in Orlando. That was a cat jiggle. And I thought, you know, that's a really nice picture. I'd like to recreate it. Why not? I have acrylics and canvas. But I need to recycle this canvas. Because my husband's his, like, signature and such is down there. <laughs> Oopsie. Um, but I did get his permission first, let's be honest. And therefore, good times. So what I learned, strangely enough, from this Wild Wednesday escapade, was yes, I enjoy painting as I knew that. And I enjoy creating art in various forms. And I had a canvas, so I upcycled it. Good times. But what I thought was really funny and interesting, not my shirt. I wore that as a, it's art. It's artsy looking. Um, I look like a Manet Monet. Water lilies. Anywho. Um, <laughs> I learned that it's like a procrastination problem. So I didn't expect to learn this lesson, but I learned this lesson that I procrastinate, which I knew I did. I did. I knew I that. Um, but you know, coming to you from, I just washed my hair and I don't bother to put on a lot of makeup and a little bit of lip gloss to, that's not procrastinating. I got ready for this video about 10 minutes ago. Um, what I did procrastinate on was the amount of completion that I could have honestly completed as you can see like where his signature is down there that could be when you look at the website and you see the full picture that could that could be better it could be like the wispy grasses coming out of the water choices there um <coughs> it could be uh more water clearly um, but I didn't cover everything, so it's not, you know, it's not like I intentionally meant to glob up. But, like, it kind of had a, a seascape theme. So I didn't quite, I didn't quite get there yet. I didn't quite get there. I didn't quite get there. So I didn't quite, I didn't quite get it all done. Um, <coughs> but that's okay. Learning lessons as we go in life. So a little bit of procrastination. Did it hurt? Not badly. Uh, did it fulfill the promise of a wild Wednesday? Eh, I don't know, but it's definitely not a workout Wednesday, like I said. So we're going to be doing a few wild Wednesdays going forward. Um, perhaps less procrastination. So I did give myself a week, but I didn't get it done in a week. So shame on me, I guess. Possibly, eh, you know. But how do I feel bad about it? I don't. I surely really shouldn't feel that bad about it. There's other things in this world to feel really bad about besides not finishing a piece of art, if we're honest. Let's be honest. Um, but at the end of the day, if I didn't procrastinate on it, I could have finished it. I could have done it while I was watching the... What's that thing I'm watching right now? Oh, yes. The whole redo seasons of Down Abbey. Because I like Downton Abbey. Downtown Abbey. And it's currently airing on Peacock in July of 2024. Thank you, P. 
Peacock. The only reason I'm going to say thank you to Peacock right now is Downton Abbey. Good times. So, anyways, I hope this is fun for you. Hope you enjoyed it. And 